the Roken and children. You can comment by replying to this email. Your email will be posted on this blog at greennet.farka. Let's talk about the Rokinen family. You know who they are. A cool Rokinen built what we call Farka City. That name is a lie. That architectural abomination is a jewel the Rokinens made out of pressed shit. Farka invited him and his corporation to our town and he paved the way for the rest of his ethically defunct colleagues. But let's address the Rokinen dynasty. The real estate seed has been warped and mutated in the worst way possible. Avant-garde director Samuel Rokinen is hell-bent on destroying history like the worst of the Soviet maniacs. Our history, not theirs. Their only jab at their father's legacy was to build that twisted fusion of our lighthouse and the Eiffel Tower. Geiger Rokinen is a blemish, a pimple, a disgusting zit on our society. She is insane. You've heard her parties. You've heard the loud music down at the docks coming all the way from Cliffside. She is too rich and too well-born to be held accountable for anything. Akir Carson, real name Aku Rokinen Jr., is the reason for this post. It's been bad enough that our media has been ravaged and pillaged by his petty empire. At least we were the ones to destroy ourselves, but he's broken in sun and somehow managed to hide it for ages. Until today when the cat crawled its way out of the bag. The torrent of dumb sewage he calls media is financed by, influenced by, and serves the Rokinen dynasty and corporation. This modern day monarchy was just the beginning of this city's downfall. They built a landing pad just like the British did with their own personal port. These ones will not have the courtesy to stick to their little neighborhood, let alone leave. Don't forget to let me know what you think about this dynasty of tyranny. Rich people are always nuts. A photo of Harris Tran drinking with a woman. He's supposed to be sober. An empty bottle of vodka found in the community center where Harris's AA sessions take place. Somebody must have been on a bender. Jessica's sponsor. Where are they now? Harris Tran is either the most inspiring or the most tragic of the whole gang. He was kicked out of the band due to his drug and alcohol addictions. Harris reportedly missed entire concerts, leaving the band scrambling for a replacement. He's doing better now. Tran has been sober for five years and runs a local AA meeting. He might not reach the heights of his former glories again, but he does play an occasional gig or jam session. He's truly working hard to stop his talents going to waste. Izzy, how's it going? Do you know where I can find Harris Tran? The musician? Yeah. You're in luck. I interviewed him a while ago in his flat. Address, please. Sending it your way. Sad guy, really. How come? Addiction ruins lives. Alcohol doesn't even help with audacious rep. Just sadness, sorrow, and more mistakes. Never mind.
a modest flat in a okay building. Trin, where are you? We're on in an hour. Hurry up. You already missed sound check. Jesus shit, Trin. You asshole. We had to ask the audience for a lead guitar. We came clean. Hi, Isabella. Just an update. Fozzie and I decided to come clean and face the music. All my dirty laundry is out in the open. We still want the bastard dealt with though. Here's an excerpt. Ignore the tacky decorations. They've already decorated for Halloween. Dior's. Let's move past the adult industry. We don't need to focus on that. Delapine. I never had a problem with people focusing on it. I enjoyed it quite a lot. It's a performance, you know. DeRoyce. Of course, that's not what I meant. Delapine. I know what you meant. It feels good giving someone a hard time again. Sorry, I didn't mean to derail the interview. DeRoyce. No, I understand. Now I view how you dodge hard questions in a whole different light. Telepine. Yeah, yeah, it's hard when people ask me about my education or the journey I took here. None of my answers sound good. Prison, drugs, addiction, hardly a good inspiration for young comedians. Dior's. Are you trying to make a hard pun in every answer? I've missed those. My manager wouldn't let me make them, and it was a hard no to avoid suspicion. But these kind of jokes are my favorite. I hope it doesn't ruin your investigation. Jesse. Huh? Harris Tran? That's the name. Who's this? I have some questions about Jessica Delapine. You're her sponsor? Jessie? I haven't spoken to her in a while. She don't come to meetings no more. I need you to remember if anything odd has happened recently. I... I don't remember. My memory is foggy. Are you asking for a bribe? No, I genuinely don't remember. Work with me here. What's the last thing you remember? All right, I had a coffee and it tasted weird, sharp and funny. Oh no, there was alcohol in it? Yeah, can you remember who did it? Well, none of the regulars could have done it. Somebody new? It's AA. The people here have already lost stuff. Why would anyone do such a thing here? I mean, I guess. There was a new girl, but I can't remember shit about her.
That's her. Red hair, band-aid. Can you remember her face? It's a blur. It's a miracle I recognized her at all. I'm blanking out a lot. I can't remember any details. Jess is in trouble. I need you to remember. No, I fucking can't, man. Can't you see? I've been sober for years. All it took was, I got no clue what. I'm a disgrace. I'm never drinking again. You know, my career hasn't been so good since I got sober. Don't let a spiked drink ruin your sobriety. Use it to help others. You think so? That redhead is a stalker and a bully. She spiked my coffee. I only had a sip. Just keep an eye on your drinks. She must have spiked the whole pot. Oh no, I need to call the others. Wait, tell me what you talked about. That girl, she was asking about Jessie like about her past, I think she was a fan. Although her questions were, now that I think about it, she was asking about some dark shit. Jesse's dark shit? Yeah, I mean, everybody's done something they regret. Jesse made amends and she's at peace with it. I think her first paycheck all went towards paying people back. Thanks for your help, you did good. Hi Izzy, I just wanted to let you know that Fozzie and I decided to come clean. We recorded an interview with DeRoyce. It's public now. I sent you an email a while ago. It was the interview. What about your movie career? Two people have already uncovered my dirty laundry. It's just a matter of time before everything comes out. So it's over? Dior thinks it is. Fozzie and I? We feel like our corporation wouldn't fire me over my past, which I've paid for. It's the adult thing to do. Anyway, it's better to live honestly than to be hunted by the past. It won't get rid of the blackmail problem. Yeah, they called me and everything. That's why I'm following up. Her. It's a her? Yeah, I think she went to Harris to dig up your past. Wow. Well, I've got her contacts. I still want her to stop. I was just letting you know. I can call her and pretend I want to team up. Why would you do that? To arrange a meeting, to find out what she looks like or where she lives. Oh, that sounds like an idea. I'm going to go do something about it. Yes, hello? Annie Watkins? What? How do you know me? Who are you? Just a fan of your work. I don't follow. Look, these corporate lackeys need to know their place. And? I want to help, meet up, make plans, ruin their worlds. I don't disagree but I don't get how I fit into this. I just slipped and got drunk and dragged Harris into this. Five years of sobriety down the drain. How can I fight corpse in this state? Harris said you were fishing for info about Jessica Delapine. How the hell do you know this? I have useful skills. I want to help. So far, you're just creeping me out. Like major creepy vibes. I'm doing the same thing you are. Nuh-uh. You found the target. You got after the target. I'm not your target. You're hard to find, though. To be honest, I don't like being followed. Still, that's some chutzpah. 
tell you what prove it give me something so that i know you're legit Jessica's manager is making her do porn. That's some hot shit. I know, right? Tell me more. Not over the phone. You understand. I'm going to regret this. No, you're not. Come on. Let's meet up and join forces. Look, it's nothing personal, but I have my doubts. Between the hacking and your snooping, we're unstoppable. Shit, that is a good point. Meet me at Plugs and Mugs in half an hour. How will I recognize you? I know what you look like. I'll wave at you. See you soon, partner. A hip cafe for tech heads. Coffee, small overpriced snacks, and an abundance of electrical outlets. A photo of the blackmailer, isolated from the Plugs and Mugs Cafe where the meeting with her was supposed to take place, fits Harris's description perfectly. Abandoned corporate ships. Numerous celebrities and entrepreneurs have broken their contract with Farkin corporations. The usual lines about professional differences are trotted out quite a lot, though the corporations deny it. Mary Jensen's deal with Traffic Corp is particularly odd. She claims she was forced out, while the corporation denies that there ever was a deal. The lawsuit against her, won by Traffic Corp, continues to baffle experts. Another startup squashed. Last month, we saw another defeat. Mary Jensen and her team were developing an alternative to our current traffic control system. She dared to resist. Traffic Corp, the reigning king of traffic, sued her and won. The crowdfunding campaign for her business is already up and running. We have to help a local businesswoman out. Future use, ghosts. Bark and art of the ancient to classical periods were obsessed with death. There were at least seven gods of death. 
Aphrodite was brought over by Greek traders and integrated as a god of death too, embodying a love that pierced the veil of the afterlife. Oh hey, where are you? Are you close? The gig's up. You're going down now. Excuse me? I thought you wanted to join forces. Full 180 on that. Delapine hired me to stop you. You bitch. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Guess what though? You don't have shit on me. Fine, I look somebody up. Is that a crime? That's circumstantial. Those crimes won't hold up in court. Oh really? What would you attach it to? I have no name and no face. Your case is a bust. You're nothing, you hear me? Well, that backfired. Why are you talking to me then? Call the police. The client will decide what to do with you. Yeah, this whole thing will go away. I come from money. I'm untouchable. I dare you to turn me in. Go on, run back to your corporate masters. Suck a giant green dick. You're broke. You'll have a public defender. They're overworked and sad. You don't know that. It's true though, right? So Jessica will turn me in? Correct. Good. I like a challenge. Pardon? Isabella Song. Real hair color. Brunette. Cis woman. 29 years old. Dual citizenship. Are you trying to impress me by reading an ID card? Your brother plays football in Arizona. There's definitely some dirt there. Your father's a doctor in San Diego? Come on, that's just too easy. What are the odds they're there legally? What are the odds they'll get deported? You racist bitch. You're under house arrest. So if I set your building on fire, would you choose to burn or go to jail? Don't threaten me. Oh, now this is neat. I just learned that most of what you do for a living is illegal. It's legal in this country. If you're working officially, but this is a gig economy, go piss on a cross, get to the point. I back off, you back off, and we can be best friends, deal? No. Yes, has there been any progress, Miss Song? The blackmailer's been taken care of. Really? I'm sending you her info for the police. Mary Jensen, the traffic girl? Yeah. Shame, really. I get why she's mad, though. Anyway, I'll press charges right away. I've attached my report, too. The police will find it helpful. Thank you very much. She says she has connections, though practically dared me to take her in. I don't think there's anything else Jesse can be blackmailed with, and you bloodied her nose. We'll be fine now. Glad I could help. I'll wire you the paycheck shortly. Pleasure doing business with you. Izzy, hi. It's Jesse. You dealt with my blackmailer. Hi. I wanted to ask, want to get coffee sometime? This is a bit unexpected. Was I supposed to come back at night in a long dress with a gun? A noir reference? Do I fit the bill? A woman after my own heart. 
So, tomorrow, coffee? I'm under house arrest, sorry. Say what now? Is that an expression? No, it's a sentence given by the chicken shit court of Fark and Justice. Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. It's fine. Well, can I buy you dinner then? Jesse, house arrest. I know. Are you taking the piss? You tell me a time when you're free. I order delivery for that exact time. Then you jump on the call and we have dinner together. I'm up for that. So down. Really into it. I'm free tonight. Then it's decided. Send me your address. Looking forward to it. Sending it right now. Hello again, P.I. Hello, Film Fatale. Got your dinner? Everything okay? Smells delicious. Then our date is a go. This is a date? I thought I said it was. I can make jokes, too. This is turning into a proper noir. Do you always talk in one-liners? I watched too many noir films growing up. What's your favorite? Jessica must die? Is that real? I feel threatened. Oh, it is. Well, I just have to watch it. I'll put it on my list. Is that why you became a PI? Lists were extremely inspirational. Haha, -ha, I love it. I'm going to risk ruining everything. But then again, you know all of my dirty secrets. Oh, no. How did you end up under house arrest? Punched an asshole in his lying face. You won't get away with a one-liner this time. I won't? I won't let you. Roll reversal alert. You make the jokes and I'll do the interrogating. All right, so you really want to know? Yeah, let's hear at least two one-liners in a row. So the case was about an immigration officer who kicked a family out. Oh, not those assholes. They're the worst.